Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If I look a little tired right now, it's because I'm, well, first of all, I have a newborn, but also I've only been up for like 45 minutes or so. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do this little video. It won't be super long, but I just wanted to do an introduction video for my baby because even though you all have probably already seen him if you've watched my birth vlog or the 24 hours with a newborn vlog and stuff like that, but yeah, I still just wanted to actually introduce him and talk about his name and what he seems to like and not like so far. And then I'm gonna show you him in just a minute, okay? But he's eating right now, so I wanna talk about him a little bit and then I'm gonna show him to you. So, Elliot Knox, that is his name. He was born at exactly 37 weeks gestation because of some complications, so I had to be induced early. He was four pounds, nine ounces when he was born. He's an itty bitty baby. We already knew that was, he, he knew he knew he was gonna be small though. There was like a 50-50 chance that he would have some problems, whether it be with regulating temperature, blood sugar, lung issues, things like that. It was just like, it was kind of like, we didn't really know when, until he came out, if he was gonna have any issues or be in the NICU. And we were so, so lucky and he didn't have to go to the NICU. He came out and they checked him out and he was screaming. <laughs> and I'll link that birth vlog below if you wanna watch it. But yeah, so everything was like really good. The only thing he had issues with was at night. The first night, he um, his blood sugar would drop a little below what they wanted between feedings they wanted it to be at 45 or above his would drop to like 38 to 40 but by the next day he was regulating it and it was in the 60s and we all got to go home we stayed one extra night to make sure his blood sugar was regulated and after two nights in the hospital the next day we got to take him home he is actually eight days old today he was born on august 18th um he's a leo not that i even care or believe in any type of astrology but I just think it's really cool because he was supposed to be born, or his due date was the day before my birthday. His due date was September 8th, so he would have been um, a Virgo. And because of everything, it's just funny to me that he ended up being a Leo because the what I do know about like the t personality traits um, when it comes to astrology is that Virgos and Leos are very, very different. So it would be interesting. Um, it would be interesting to see if he does have personality traits of a Leo. But anyways, so he is, let me just show you him because then you have something to look at better than me. So, so here he is. He's finishing his bottle and he's awake right now. So I want you to see him while he's up. So this is Elliot. Say, that's me. I'm the little Elliot Knox. He's so tiny. Yes, him is. But he's such a sweet boy. He's such a good baby. See, I'm such a good baby. Yeah, I'm such a good baby. So let me try to burp him while I'm talking to you guys still. But, um, okay, so what was I going to... Oh, you burped. Good job. So... Okay, so from the last week so far, what we've learned about this little guy is that he is um, a pretty good sleeper. Like, I I can compare to my last one, uh, Mason, who was horrible. He was a horrible newborn. <laughs> Love him to death, but he was a terrible newborn. And my first was easy. Elliot is a lot like my first. Um, my last one, Mason, he would, I couldn't even put him in a um, bouncer and have him sit there while I took a bath. He would scream. He wanted me to hold him all the time. Uh, and this was from like day one. This isn't just like from me holding him too much the first week or two. Like this is just how he was. Like I couldn't get him to fall asleep in a swing. It would take me 20 minutes to get him to fall asleep. Um, and try to walk away to take a bath or something. And within 15 minutes, he was screaming. He would not sleep. This is like during the day. Like he would not sleep during the day for me. Whereas Elliot, um, he, and we don't let him sleep in a swing or a bouncer at night. So no worries there because I am like paranoid about SIDS and about them not getting the circulation cut off but during the day I have him 
beside me in the living room in his bouncer and he'll sleep for a couple hours and then he'll just wake up whining and whimpering a little bit and he'll want to eat he'll eat usually he'll be awake for a little while right now as you can see he ate and he pretty much went right back to sleep but a lot of times during the day yeah he'll um have his eyes open for like 30 45 minutes after and then he'll go right back to sleep at night sort of our routine right now this is to make sure that we both pretty much get enough sleep is we'll stay in the living room until like i know mean, i don't have to stay in there but i just have such a thing with wanting to be in the room with my baby when they're this little being able to wake up and make sure he's breathing and all that stuff so i have him right beside me and eric's in there and so from a usually i can fall asleep from about 9 to 12 or whenever we come in the room so i i get a little bit of sleep there and he eric takes care of him um and then when we come in here to actually go to bed he sleeps in this bassinet beside me and last night he did so amazing we wrap him up in his little s sleep sack swaddle that they gave us at the hospital it's really really nice it's i think it's called the angel sleep sack if anybody wants to look into it it's like it's got velcro so that like when you wrap the final piece around the back it stays so they can't like bust and like unravel their swaddle so it's like and he loves to be swaddled. That's another thing. He really, really likes to be swaddled. I'm hoping he stays like that for a while because it's a really easy way to get him to be comforted and go to sleep. Last night is the first night he really slept like, like he gave me so much sleep. Like we went to bed at between 1230 and one. Like I, we, I fed him and then we swaddled him and laid him in there. And he didn't wake up again until like three in the morning. So I fed him at three and if you see like he put he loves to put his hands in his face he did this um on his ultrasound like every ultrasound we went to he always had his hands in his face and he still really likes them up there normally the outfits that i have on him have mittens on them but this one does not so anyways it's just cute he really likes his hands up there are you still hungry you can't be hungry. You ate so much. See, you ate so much. But, um. So, anyways. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, he slept until 3, 8. And then he slept again until 6. I actually kind of woke him up at 6. Because I was, like, up at the moment. And I was, I heard him, like, it went for a tiny bit. But then go back to sleep. And I was like, if I don't get you up now, you're going to wake me up in, like, 20 minutes. And he needed to sleep anyway. Because it had been, like, 3 hours. So, he ate then. And then I got him up this morning at about nine o'clock and fed him again. So he did so good. He let mommy get so much sleep last night and I appreciated it so much. I did, I really appreciated it, buddy. He's just so sweet. The only thing he really, really doesn't like is being wiped. <laughs> I could, I thought with Serenity, I had a wiped warmer and it was just such a pain. like. Because I just change them in whatever room they're in. So I have like wipes in every single room. And I didn't want it to be like one room. She would get like nice warm wipes. And then it's like everywhere else in her life was cold. And so I didn't get one for him. But I don't know. I still might. Because he absolutely hates when a wipe touches him. Screams like he is dying. Even though it's quick. What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you still up, huh? Are you still up? Hmm? So, let's see. What else is there to say about him? As far as physically, <laughs> he's pretty much Eric from the nose up. I think, I do believe he has my mouth. Especially because his mouth looks just like Mason. And Mason has my mouth. So, let's see if you can, I don't know if you can, like, if anybody thinks... You can tell from him being this little, but I do think he has my mouth. <laughs> what are you doing? You still hungry? Yeah, he has Eric's nose for sure and his little eyes. And we can't, we won't really know what color his eyes are truly going to be for a few months because babies are born with blue eyes. So his eyes, let's see if he'll open them. Oh, let's see if he'll open them for you. There they are. There they are. And we, me and Eric both have really squinty eyes too. So it's really hard to see, but they're dark blue right now. In a few months, it's possible that when he gets melanin in his eyes, 
they could end up being brown. I think it would be amazing. So cute if they were brown, especially since he has blonde hair, which I wasn't expecting. I don't know why. I thought he was going to have like light brown hair. Um, and that's how much he's got a lot, a good bit on the back, but like on the top, he doesn't have as much. And he's just like, I call him like a, a old man. He just looks like an old man. Yes, he looks like a cute old man. A cute old man. So that's the situation with his like hair and eyes and everything. Or his eyes could end up staying blue and they'll probably lighten up a little bit like my other kids' eyes did. Um, he's got very long fingers. See, I got really long fingers and really long toes too, but you can't see them because he's got feetsies on. Uh-oh. His head is super wrinkly when he opens his eyes wide. And yeah, he's um he's 17 inches long. So he's just a itty bitty little thing. Like my best friend's sister had her baby yesterday and her baby is nine pounds and 22 inches long so literally double Elliot's weight and <laughs> then like five inches longer than him it's freaking crazy but that's what happened he just didn't grow well inside of me and so we're hoping he will grow better on the outside and he had a pediatrician appointment right after we got out of the hospital because they strongly advised it with him being so small so a day after we got out of the hospital he had his first appointment everything was good and um, the only thing is his boy parts have not descended yet, which you, usually they have by the time they come out. But he was also very early and he also had, you know, some issues with growing and all that. So they, they said it needs to happen by the time he's six months or he will probably have to have surgery, which I really, really hope that doesn't happen. That's scary to me. I don't like that. But for now, you have six months. Yeah. You got six months for your bowels to drop. So everything else is really good. And he's got his two-week appointment. On the 1st of September, what is today? Today is the 26th, so. Yep, just a, like, I think that's a little less than a week, right? Yeah, until his first appointment. Um. So that's pretty much everything. He's really sweet. I think he's actually still hungry. Because he's starting to eat a little bit more. Yes, say, I'm still hungry, mommy. So I'm gonna go get him some food and feed him, but that's my sweet baby, my itty bitty tiny preemie boy. All right, see, ready? See, tell him bye. <laughs> so yeah, the next update I'll probably do on him will probably be his month update. Yeah, see, so it'll be your month update. Yeah, when you're a month old, I can't believe he's eight days already. Like it's ridiculous how time passes but anyways so yeah that's my sweet elliot boy we will see you next time bye guys <laughs>